Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Dave Anderson. This is Heli Cools, Heli Pad, where great ideas take flight. Hey, this is part three of the exhaust system modification. And I just want to show you um, kind of a little update of what you might be up against. This is off of Malachi. And you can see that there's indentions. There's actually three indentions here, which gives a exterior view that this area here, on the inside anyway, is what causes the Venturi effect, which causes this port, which goes to the plenum ejection tube, to create a vacuum so that it cleans out your plenum, which is your pre-filtered air before it gets to the filter, uh, before it goes actually into the engine. If you haven't seen that uh, video, I'll leave a link at the, well, I'll just leave a link right up here. Actually, it'll be right up here. <laughs> um, and you can click on that and you can go back to it or you can wait till the end of this video and, and, uh, and see it. Um, I couldn't really see this on Patricia, so I didn't know this existed. I think it's pretty cool. I didn't understand what these uh, f um, indentions or fluting or whatever you call this is. But if you're just using, if you don't want to delete this as part of the muffler delete, which I would recommend not deleting this part, you're going to need to cut about right here. Okay, cut right here and remove this piece. And then you'll need to peen this edge so that it marries up with what this would normally marry up with. And then you can use one of these V clamp to clamp the exhaust back together. Now, I recommend tilting it up just a little bit because the drive shaft is right about here and you'll need to tilt this up so that the flexible hose can go up over the drive shaft and not get in its way so that is a that is an update of where we are right now I'm gonna continue um, a little bit further than what you could actually continue with because I actually have a second set of these pipes. So I'm going to continue a little bit further on Malachi and get the pipe extended just a little bit further back and add a few of these hangers so that, uh, so that the exhaust pipe is well supported and it can move just a little bit, which is exactly what it's designed to do. Stay tuned. All right, now this is the custom side now. This is uh, Patricia's extra five foot long pipe. And I cut off a small section. And this is the section that uh, um, has the, the little indentation to avoid the um, front shackle or the leaf springs, leaf spring shackle. And so this is short enough now with a nice little downspout that uh, should direct the exhaust right at the ground and just before the rear axle. Let's go see how it fits. All right, now under Malachi, of course this is where the um, muffler used to be. I just want to show you that this is super stout. It ain't going anywhere, but I do want to add a bracket because this is going to extend quite a bit further and I think I'm going to add a bracket to, oh, probably right up there on that beam. Come on. I need an extra set of hands. 
<laughs> okay, 13 millimeter, I do believe. Where's my 13 millimeter? I should have had this out and ready. There's 14. There's 12. <laughs> Story of my life. There's 13. <laughs> rats It's up there. I can move the, oh, I can move the back just a little bit. But again, I think with a drop down right here to support the weight, it won't put so much tension and, uh, and I shouldn't have any issues, but I'm gonna, Devise a bracket if I can find some some all thread or I'll just have to make something up all right so I'm going to use a plumb bob so I know where I'm gonna drop this oh it's clear over here drop this all the way down to about the middle of the okay, a little over. All right, about right there. Okay, that I know is going to be right over the top of the exhaust pipe. So that is where I want to drill my hole so I can start my bracket. All right, now. I want to put my hanger on here. And this is just so it will have a little bit of a little bit of give like it's supposed to. And I'm going to use this to attach up here. Well, I didn't have any all thread, but what I do have is some fabrication skills. <laughs> Redneck style, of course. So I took a little piece of uh, angle and uh, welded some wrought iron on there and drilled a hole. And on the other side, just welded a bolt and I have a nut on one side. I'm gonna show you how this works. All right, so I carefully measured from this point down to the center of this hole, and it was right at nine inches. But it's gonna go right up in this hole. Looks like it needs to go a little further. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's just about right. Looks like I might have gotten it just a little bit long, but that's okay. I am gonna have room. <clears throat> All right, I'll put my washer stack on top. And then, oops. I've got a washer stack with a lock washer. went all the way into the tall grass. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to get out my metal detector again. Come on, it's a wrench, where is it? Ah. It's a big wrench. Should hold everything nice and uh, sturdy. Uh, I ain't going anywhere. Good to go. It's all done. Let's fire it up. I can't wait to hear this. There's, there's not a whole lot of difference. Sounds good. Let's go out and check to see what the decibel level is. It might just be crazy, but it sounds awfully quiet in here. Crazy quiet. I, I can't even believe that, that moving that muffler, or removing it and moving the exhaust back a little further does that much noise resistance. It is fantastic. I'm going to take a reading. 74.6. 66.7. You know, it, it almost just, almost just never ceases to amaze me. Just little things that you can do that, uh, you, just unexpected stuff. You know, adding that extra pipe on there made it just as quiet as with the muffler on there. Uh, the muffler itself only decreased the decibels, uh, only only by uh, uh, five decibels. So it, it isn't like it was doing just a fantastic job. It's just a big, huge can. Um, but just adding that extra little pipe made it just as quiet as the as the muffler. So you know, I really can't complain about it. Hey guys, if you like this video, uh, please click on the little uh, thumbs up down below there. And if you wouldn't mind leaving a comment, I would really appreciate that too. I especially love those comments that further the story, that, that if, especially if you have some background information on, um, on 
uh, something that I'm working with that you can add to the story that, that is going to help somebody else later on that, that's reading uh, some of the comments, uh, please go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe. <laughs> that would be great too. Well, I'm signing out again. Till next time, you guys be safe and God bless. Yes, hello kitty. Hey Jake. Hello Jake. He's such a pretty cat. Yes, you are. You're such a pretty cat. And Mauser, you're just so jealous. You're just so jealous. Yes, you need to get pet too.